Hi, I'm Jordan, and I am a trans non-binary model, and today we are going to be talking about gender euphoria. So in the common narratives that we hear about transness, we hear a lot about gender dysphoria, which is the disconnect between the way your body looks and how you feel, which a lot of trans people experience. And also a lot of trans people don't. So gender euphoria is like this concept of feeling euphoric in your gender was the first diagnosis of transness. It wasn't about feeling uneasy in your assigned sex at birth. It was actually about feeling more comfort in another gender. So today, I'm going to be showcasing five looks that I feel gender euphoria in. When I go to the beach, I'm just trying to be free in my body, go swimming. I feel the most free when I don't feel constricted by the clothes that I'm wearing. And I think a lot of people, when they think of like non-binariness or like androgynous beach wear, they're thinking of like a skinny white trans mask person in board shorts. I know for me, like those things feel constricting. When I feel constricted, I experience more gender dysphoria. Part of feeling that euphoria is feeling free in my body and wearing a bikini bottom like a freaking Speedo. There definitely is this, I think, misconception, like wearing a bikini top that like that is an inherently feminine or like girly. I think that those ideas are really steeped in fat phobia because if you were someone who is a straight bodied person, your perception of someone in that body wearing a bikini is going to be very different than a fat person like myself who has more of a curvy figure. At the end of the day, I don't think that there's anything inherently gendered about clothes. I don't wear the bikini because of what it looks like. I wear it because of what it feels like. And that's how I experience my gender. So this is the activewear look. For activewear, that is functional clothes. What that means for me is wearing a sports bra, which does give me dysphoria. I like to cover up a little bit. So I do have like a complicated relationship with activewear because it's like tight and kind of constrictive, having so much awareness of my chest. When I'm in a bikini, I don't feel as aware of my chest because it's not tight. The sports bra and the quarter zip kind of counteract each other and that helps me feel safer when I am maybe experiencing more discomfort. It's just like a very protective article of clothing and I think that a lot of trans people have a dysphoria hoodie. Like this article of clothing like gives me gender euphoria and like that's totally chill. The next look we have is my favorite. It's the loungewear. For this, I'm wearing this two-piece set and it's just this beautiful print. It makes me feel like the alien that I am. Yes, it like is tight to my body, but my body as a trans body is not gendered. I feel like just as comfortable in this as I do naked. I just feel like so euphoric in things that are like decorative. I feel really similarly to outfits like this, the way I feel about my tattoos. It is a way for me to like reclaim my body that has been through so much as a fat person, as a trans person, all of these things. I feel like for so much of my life, I have been at war with my body. Being able to like get tattoos and wear fun things that make me feel like me, it's really comforting. So this outfit is the date outfit. This is one of my favorite outfits. It gives like a little bit of a polo vibe. And then you know it has the zip, which is like great for a date. Show what you want to show. Very true to me and really gives me so much gender euphoria because I feel like I'm giving what I consider to be like a more masculine 
silhouette, even though it's a completely pink outfit. Maybe a lot of people would say that this is like a feminine outfit or like a girly outfit. But to me, the way that my chest looks, the way that my whole body looks, it feels ungendered and yet genderful. This actually gives me the most pure sense of gender euphoria and that I feel so validated in my transness and my gender presentation and who I am and what I had to go through to get to this point is just like a beautiful culmination of all of that in one outfit. So this last outfit is our red carpet glam look. I feel like an alien in this one too, in the best way. This is a outfit that is 100% performing femininity. It doesn't make me feel dysphoric because glamour and red carpet, it's all so obviously a performance. And I think that there's something really powerful for me being able to make the decision to put on this performance when I choose. It's about me playing with the performance of gender and not at all about who I am as a person. It doesn't matter if you're a cis person or you're a trans person, gender is real and it's so important. It's important to me, it's important to, I know, most trans people. This is art, this is not a reflection of how I feel. It's literally just art and beauty and it's something to look at. These five outfits are just examples of my personal experience with gender euphoria. And obviously with every single person, trans, cis, non-binary, it's going to be different. All I can say is that you should wear what makes you feel good. And if you're looking to hear more about experiences of transness, you can't just listen to one person. You have to listen to people of all races, all sizes, all abilities, because all of these things interact with our experience of gender. And at the end of the day, gender is unique to every single person.